Hi Themers, I'm going to show you how to customize shoehorn, in this case the navbar. First of all, running on Bitnami. Uh, if you haven't got that installed, there's a Bitnami guide. All of the links will be in the uh, description of this screencast. Uh, you will need the bootstrap theme. You need obviously shoehorn. And then you're going to need node.js. Uh, there's an install guide and stuff, loads of lovely stuff on there of how to install it. Okay, so we've got it up and running. However, if you do have a problem, like so, then in the readme file of shoehorn, there is some information about how to get it up and running and how to edit the httpd.conf file. to make it uh, work for you. Like so. So then you'd you know, restart. Okay, given it all works, we can now install Grunt. Uh, in there, there's some information in the grunt file that comes with shoehorn, tells exactly what you need to do, and I'm going to show it here as well. So, install grunt globally. then we'll be able to install the things we need for shoehorn itself. Okay, so we're running in a Node.js command prompt, that's really important. And you can see in there we've got Bootstrap and Shoehorn installed. Okay, go into Shoehorn. And we can finish off the installation and in the bits we need. Okay, now we can uh, go ahead and change the values. So we're in the variables shoehorn.less file. I'm going to change 
background colour. Here's some I've prepared earlier. Copy paste. Now the clever bit, which is to run Drunt itself. Creates the production version. Okay, because it's what decache has worked, then we don't need to do a purge or caches. Especially as we're not in theme designer mode. So page reload will show us the result. Okay, still a little bit dark. So we can use a lighter colour and try again. There we are. Lighter, thank you very much for watching and happy theming.